Now with this question, we've got to show that x squared plus 6x plus 11 then can be written as x plus p all squared plus q, where p and q are integers which we've got to find. Now when you get a question like this where it's asking you to express a quadratic expression in this particular form, it's often called completing the square. And if you're unsure about this and want further questions and examples, just go on my website and look under completing the square. But to do this, very easy, just start with the expression. So we've got x squared plus 6x plus 11. And then what you do is just say that this is identical to, and just set up a bracket with your squared on the outside. And then in this bracket, just put x, and then you halve this number, the coefficient of x, the number in front of the x term. And it's plus 6 at the moment, so if you halve that, you get plus 3. And what we do now is think about what you get when you expand this. x plus 3 all squared. I'll just do it over here, okay, so you can see it. So if you had x plus 3 all squared, it's the same as x plus 3 multiplied by another x plus 3. And that is identical to x times x, which we know is x squared. Then you get 3x and another 3x, so that's 6x. And then 3 times 3 is 9. Now you can see, hopefully, that if you were to expand this, then you get x squared plus 6x plus 9, which is nearly like this. You've got your x squared plus 6x, there you go, x squared plus 6x, but we've got this extra 9. So what we do is we subtract 9, and this now is going to just come to x squared plus 6x, and then we add the 11. So you can see that this is now identical to x plus 3 all squared, and minus 9 plus 11, well that's plus 2. And we've got this in this format. So I would write that in that this is identical to x plus p all squared plus q. And then say what p and q are. So where p is the integer 3 and q is the integer 2. So there you go, p equals 3, q equals 2.